So here's a drawing I made of the cake, just showing the unicorn hanging in between the two cakes hanging off of the rainbow. And here it just shows how I wanted to build a metal frame going through the rainbow with two little hoops poking out just from beneath where the swing could hang off of. And then there's two guide wires going down for stability. So this is just a photo to show you which wires I've used to help make the structure. Here I'm just kneading the purple fondant and adding a little bit of tylo just to get it a bit stronger and then rolling it into the sausage shape that it needs to be for the rainbow. Although this bit can be done by hand, it is a lot easier using this fondant smoothing tool which can just be bought very cheaply off Amazon or Hobbycraft or similar. I'll um, post a link below. So here I'm just using my four inch cake pan to help guide the rainbow around it, just to help it be nice and smooth. And here I'm just cutting it to shape. And here I'm using some edible glue just to help glue it nice and strongly. I could just be using water for this instead, but I wanted it to be extra sturdy, so I decided to use edible glue. So I have actually made two rainbows here and one is stuck together whilst the other is not. I am using the frame to just double check that it's all in the right position and now using the thin wire to help make a loop and just checking that it is the right length to come poking out just the bottom. I'm just cutting them a little bit shorter just to make it a bit easier to work with and then I'm twisting it around making sure it's the right length all I want is just the tip being able to poke out the bottom next to the purple and then here I am making sure that both of them are the same length exactly and then twist them around to make sure they're nice and sturdy and cut the tips off just to size. I'm then just also using the scissors to help push down the wire to make sure there's no sharp bits sticking out. So once I'm happy that both of them are the same length and nice and strong, I'm just looping them over the wire and putting them into place and just twisting them round to keep them in position. And again, just using the scissors to make sure there's no sharp bits sticking out that would damage the fondant. Now I'm just lining it down, making sure again that just the tip of the little wire is able to poke out from underneath the purple aspect of the rainbow. I'd really like the metal structure to be between the blue and the green, so I just decided to actually bend the structure a little bit more just to make sure it fits nicely in that groove there. I push it in nice and tightly. And then I was just making sure that a wire was able to poke through there. Now I'm using, again, the edible glue, but could be using water instead to help stick down the appropriate color on top. Now in that situation, I also just used a little extra bit of purple um, on there just to add as a bit more extra stability. I do the same thing with every single color moving outwards. Making sure to use a good amount of edible glue, but not too much to make it too sticky. Here I'm cutting it to size again, 
and just making sure that everything is nicely stuck together. So to help put the rainbow strongly into the cake, I'm using saute sticks. And actually initially I'm using the sharp aspect of them to help make the holes into four parts of the rainbow on each side. I then cut the saute sticks to size and then put the dull side into the rainbow, making sure that the sharp aspect is poking out so that it can help poke into the cake a lot easier. And just the last few touch-ups with some edible glue, making sure everything is nice and stuck together. And here I've made some flowers with the colors of the rainbow, and I'm just sticking them on the rainbow to make pretty patterns, just to make it a little bit more floral and happy. And that's the rainbow done and now it just needs to dry until it's nice and strong.